Okay, we're ready. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is the regular meeting of the Elderly and Disabled Tax Funding Committee. Today is Thursday, October 3rd, 2024. It is 4.03 p.m. Uh, this meeting is being broadcasted on the Town of Dighton Zoom channel and recorded for later playback on the Town of Dighton YouTube channel. Uh, would you please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm going to move the microphone closer as well. Uh, I always forget that, and that is going to help me. All right, so today's agenda is fairly light, and we do have a hard stop at 5 p.m. because the Commission on Disability needs to use the space. Um, I don't think that's going to be a big problem for us, though. Okay. So to just jump into the uh, approval of the previous meeting minutes, uh, did we all get a chance to review the last meeting minutes? Mm -hmm. Anybody yes. have any issues, questions? No. Nope. Revisions? Negative. All right. No. Um, in that case, I will entertain a motion to approve the previous month's meeting minutes. Go ahead. I second that? No, make it. Huh? I'll make the motion to approve the Sorry. previous meeting minutes. All right. Motion made. Is there a second? I second that. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion? <laughs> Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. And aye. Passes unanimously. So for old business, um, my guess is that we will most likely skip the majority of these. Mm -hmm. um, there's really no business items. I guess these are more of just announcements of our previous meetings yep. uh, where we discussed and reviewed eligibility guidelines, application window, minimum maximum award amounts. Mm -hmm. uh, we came up with a couple of ways to promote awareness of the fund. Uh, we modified the insert for the tax bills. Um, since I was out this week, I didn't bring a um, statement showing the contributions to the fund, but we actually okay. did receive another couple small contributions. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Uh, somewhere between $25 to $50, I believe, That's awesome. uh, since our last meeting, which is okay. nice. Is that uh, is this an item that will stay on the agenda for each me uh, meeting so we can yes, finish? Yes, I oh, like to just cool. kind of print out an update every month yeah. and just bring, bring it with me. That's I'll make a note in the meeting minutes for our next meeting that we'll have that. Yeah, That's excellent. cool. Love that. And... Um, Thank you, everybody. Who yeah, donated. absolutely. Thank you. Thank you to the people of Dayton. Absolutely. And um, so to just jump into our new business, the working draft of the application, um, I know that uh, Jonathan has had a trip that um, that is going to have him out today and is probably um, slowing us down a little bit on um, – on this, but I believe that he did get some things worked up that he had sent over. So I had Jonathan send me the document and I made the changes of what we discussed. Um, I sent that in an email on September 17th and I made a couple notes in that email. Um, from the changes we made in the last meeting on this document, I highlighted three things that we were waiting on from previous meetings. One of them was the supporting medical documentation um that we would we wrote would be necessary in order to um prove the status that was something jonathan was going to grab um from i think his physician because he currently fills one out for the blindness exemption but there's kind of a blanket form that he said that exists that he would bring for us to look at so that is something hopefully that can come next meeting um the other thing we've been waiting on for I think the past four meetings or so is the application from the assessor's department that Bill was going to bring um, for all of us to review because we kind of we thought it would be beneficial to piggyback instead of create mm -hmm. a whole other form. Absolutely. Um, we wanted to make sure whatever form does exist through the assessor, assessor's department um, kind of matches what we'd be looking forward to. I think the couple highlights we had was if it asked about veteran status. Um, mm -hmm. If you have applied in previous years, we mm -hmm. talked about owning a house for the past two years, those little check boxes that we discussed might not be on their form, yeah. but all the paperwork that we would be looking for, they already collect. So just trying to, we would need to see that form to figure out what the differences are of what we were discussing versus what they already received. So that will hopefully get next meeting. And then the last part I highlighted was um, when we reviewed the guideline form that Jonathan created, um, there was the how to donate to the fund section. Um, this isn't something that is as urgent as the others, but 
the donate online through Unibank. Um, Paul, you had mentioned to see if that's something that yes, could be possible. Yes, I did actually. So oh, thank you. is it? For bring this up. Yes and no. <laughs> what? So Unipay I looked into. So Unipay is a quarterly charge of roughly thirty nine dollars a quarter. Okay. And so you know you figure that we're looking at almost like you know hundred right. So you figure that um, spending general fund revenue in order to facilitate voluntary contributions yeah. uh, may be an issue. Mm -hmm. However, I did find, and this is going to have a little bit more um, legwork to it because I pulled the Mass Collector Treasurer Association. And I've looked back through their, um, I'm gonna listserv with them, just based on the big email database where you can ask okay. questions, things like that. Okay, yep. Um, and what I found through combing through there is that there are um, you know, schools and public entities and things like that that collect donations and they use um, one of the popular apps like PayPal, yeah, Mo, okay, Sal, yeah. things like that. Um, the issues there are that one, we have to I have to double check with the state and our auditors to see if they're okay with us using something like that. Yep. Um, okay. Because the big issue is this is what I think is going to ultimately prohibit us from doing it is that PayPal and Venmo are the two that I looked into mm -hmm. yep. and neither of them have a government mm. institutional setup. Okay. And so the reason I wouldn't be comfortable doing it is that the law requires that the treasurer is the custodian of the contribution fund, mm -hmm. which means that with PayPal and Venmo, you have to actually have a person who sets up the account. It's a right. personal Venmo account. Yeah. Where it's Not their the tax ID number, their social security number, which mm. that in and of itself, you know, I already have my own personal Venmo account. So right. I have yeah. my own information. Right. But I'm mm. not at all comfortable with conflating me per my personal possession of money and institutional custody of money. Right. Absolutely. Because what would stop somebody from, you know, if, if you were to leave employment with the town? Right. Right. Especially yeah. This that's is like an elected issue. office, right? Yeah, exactly. you, know, you could have somebody that's not reelected or leaves for whatever reason yep. and Does, now has custody, you know, they're obviously. Oof. Right. That so, could be really tricky. Right. And, okay. um, so that I I think represents a liability that I don't Definitely. think anybody is going to be comfortable for sure. with. Um, for sure. Me more than anybody. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to keep looking into options still. Yeah. I will continue to, to look into options. Um, Does the town, I usually always write a check and I'm going to be honest, I never notice if we do take online payment. Do we take online payment in any other, like for any other bills right now? Yes. Yep. So you can pay your property tax bill online. Uh, and where that is set up there is there a way to make an account for something other than that how to, or is that too complicated to i can because we're not technically a department we are being a, a i know because it's a committee because i forget department. what um tom uses at the transfer station mm -hmm. he was saying eventually with the day program potentially yeah. moving to an online platform where we could accept payment by card yeah so transfer program. station uses mm -hmm. unipay Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so we right. pay, I believe it's like, it's it's a weird one, it's like thirty eight ninety five or something like Is it like per like account or something like that? Like yes. we would, oh, okay, so yeah, that's what it is. Exactly. Oh, okay. Right. I wondered if we paid like a fee just to have that type of program. Eventually we might. So oh, the way okay. that it works, oh no, oh no, so I understand your question. So eventually, like now that the transfer station volume is picking up and it's pretty significant, we may eventually, um, drop that fee. They may eventually okay. drop that for us. The reason for that is that Unipay charges the users a fee. Oh, so like just as an example, I don't okay. know what all the different fees are that vary yep. by the card. So I'm just gonna make it up. And pretend, yep. pretend it's a dollar. I'm just gonna make that up. Mm -hmm. So if you go and you you do something there that's ten dollars, then you run your card, the town of Dayton only sees the ten dollars, but you actually paid eleven. Gotcha. And mm -hmm. that one goes to Unibank, mm -hmm. or Unipay rather. And now um, 
the reason that they start off with a charge is because for most things, when you first start taking card payments, you don't get very many. Right? Yeah. So they didn't want to, basically they knew that the volume of sales transactions that are running through that swiper or over through the system they have are um, not going to be enough to pay for them to run the service for us in the back end, which okay. is why they do an additional charge. Got it. However, after about a year or so, they get a few quarters worth of data in, they'll sit down with you and they'll eventually review and say, it looks like you're taking in enough that we're actually making enough for us to break even off the user fees. So okay. We're not going to charge you this fee anymore. Gotcha. Um, the transfer station will eventually get there, but... Um, but I they're think, not like set up through your department. Right. Like it's all every department kind of sets it up on their own. Then right, exactly. Got it. Okay. What, what happens is they build out a um, like the town clerk has one. The town clerk is all set yep. up through that. Oh thing. right. It, um, the building department is set up through another one called Point and Pay. Okay. And um, unfortunately, this cost associated right, with, sure. with all of them. Absolutely. Um, Interesting. But I will continue to yeah. look. Yeah. Okay. And. Um, if I can find one that is through one of the banks that we have a relationship with who will waive the fee in consideration of our deposit relationship, um, that would probably be acceptable. I might have to talk with the, um, talk you know, with the talk. state. Is, right, I might, yeah. have, might have to call the talk state to just talk. to get some guidance just to make yeah. sure that we're colored inside the lines. But I do think we'll, we'll get more donations if we can figure out an online. I do too. Oh, I totally agree. Especially mm -hmm. if it's something where you can like for – people like our age to maybe like mid fifties with during COVID when everyone did that scan QR code. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah. would be like, it's it mm -hmm. literally pops up. You type it in so many people have Absolutely. their cards saved on their phone at this point. We, during tech support, we set up a senior who wanted PayPal on her phone. And I was like, Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's we're kind of there. Yeah, yeah. The, for sure. The only other one that I haven't looked into yet, but actually I just was talking to a banker from one of the banks we deal with a couple of days ago who recommended that I look into square oh that's okay. the only yeah, one that i have to do yet because okay. what i have been told is that square can have a fairly beefy fee mm. but it's on the user it's not on us so okay we, so from what it was described to me is that we wouldn't be paying and let's i think he said four percent okay so you know if, if somebody um okay you know, somebody donated a hundred dollars right then we would get 96 and square would get four that's pretty good and, I agree. Um, and like, I know for myself, like, I always pay the convenience fee to pay right. the line. It's, the convenience you know, like, of right. it. I mean, and if some people do get upset by it, then they'd probably write a check. Like, right. like, oh, I don't want, I want I'm to not give out. Yeah, yeah. Then I'll write a check instead. Like, yep. it'll get, I, I think it'll catch some attention. Right. Exactly. Every time I pay and the And as the years go, like, it'll definitely catch it. Like, right. I, checks are starting to really fade. So. Right. And it's yeah. a lot of nice them. It's like a 50 up. cents convenience fee to use mm -hmm. your checking account. Right. It's like, or right. I can. Yeah. I can write the check and then pay 60 something cents for the stamp. And <laughs> right. Yeah, true. Right. Now it's 68 cents right. a stamp. Yeah. So. Right. God, I know. Um, yeah. So that, that was actually the last highlight that I had on these. I can resend this. Um, for everyone to review and then I think based on once we see the actual assessor's application this could get tweaked again to either include stuff or we create a page that would go with that application mm -hmm. I guess it, we really just need to see the we need that to see that first before we can figure out right. what our next so if we is. get a copy of the exemption application and then we'll just identify anything that we want to see considered that's not yeah, like the right. veteran status, yes. yep. um, age, things like that. Actually, mm -hmm. the age will be on there, but um, veteran status and um, you know, everything was highlighted. Then um, at that point, we will. Um, that'll really get the ball rolling. Right, that'll tie that's together kind of what, what we really we're tied need, up with right now, I think. In theory, what I'm hoping we can do, we'll need a legal opinion on this to cross the finish line, but I think ideally, if we identify that the exemption application has you know ninety five percent of what we're looking for, there's just a couple of other things, you know, veterans, service connected disabilities, things like that. Um, we can create an application 
that really only asks the fill in the blank questions that we're looking for. Yep. You're not gonna right. It's like right. the worst thing is like if somebody's applying to a job. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. And, and it's like repeating and right. So and... you do your resume and then you yep. create an account to type in your resume. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Right. So yeah, it's exactly. like if we can keep people from having to do that kind of thing. Absolutely. Right. No think, duplicate if we don't have to. Right. Mm -hmm. So if we could just ask the fill in questions and then just some signed uh, authorization Release. to get yep. their exemption application. So we have all the other info that they already provided. Exactly Absolutely. that. Keep it as simple, simple as less possible. paperwork as possible. Cause right. they are, that's always uh, a mean, lot of those so. type of things ask for the same information, like full right. assistance, SNAP, this, yep. the exemptions. It's all very mm -hmm. similar paperwork. So they're already filling it out a bajillion times. Right. So if it's for something very similar with property taxes and they're like, I have to do it all again. again. Like it's, right. Mm -hmm. For a hundred bucks. Or yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. 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 It's, Absolutely. It's like, is right. it? Worth okay. The time. All right. And then the only other thing that I'll add is that for our next meeting as well, and hopefully uh, in anticipation of us getting the exemption application, I'll identify a couple of other local towns that have these committees and just steal a couple of their applications. Yeah, yeah, just so yeah. we can look at them, see Absolutely. what they look like. And then, um, what was the closest one to a Seekonk? Was that was the one we looked at? Yep. And then the far one was Harvard. Yeah. And so, yep, so I'll one bring those back for, uh, for our next meeting. Is appropriate. Hingham, Hingham was one. Hingham, Harvard, Seekonk. Oh, there we go. Native. Oh, West Barrel. Barrel. West Barrel was the other yep. two. Yeah. yeah, I have mine on file so too. I think it'd those. be nice to we just can... kind of double check them yeah. once we get ours right. and see if there's anything else that we want to make a um, absolutely. Uh, That's preference. Nice. Name is a priority. Preference. <laughs> so now we got it. Does anybody else have anything on this topic? Nothing. All right, so let's schedule our next meeting. Okay. I love the handy dandy calendar here. So actually, you the goal to kind of finalize this stuff was for December, right? Because you mail something out yes. in December. So, well, we usually meet in the beginning of the month anyway. Yep. So we we, we do with that for... first Thursday. Me and you were both out for surgeries. Oh yeah, yeah. We're oh, surgery so... sisters next month. Yeah, on the seventh. So we're uh, not so here the seventh. We can do the fourteenth. Uh, that's special town meeting. Oh, oh yeah. Do we want to switch? Should we switch a day? We could do maybe Tuesday the twelfth, or do you think Tuesdays don't work for everybody? I don't remember why we discussed Thursdays. I think that we just did it once and it worked, and we kept doing it. But do we want to? Twenty first is probably pushing it, right? Oh, but the 31st is Halloween. Yes, the 21st. Yeah. That uh, might be too close, right? No, that that's plenty of time still on my end. Um, We'd have to make like some serious decisions though. Right. Um, right, so if you'll be out on the 7th, the 14th is not going to work. Um, Tuesday the fifth is election day. I've got a few. Oh yeah, that's yep, that's yeah. not gonna be easy to get here. And then Monday the eleventh is it's Veterans, Veterans day. day. Yeah, uh -huh. that's gonna mm -hmm. be a short week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we are striking out, folks. Would it be crazy to do Monday the fourth? Is that like Mondays are usually long days, though. It's not you do Monday the 4th, or what do we think about Tuesday the 12th? Did the 12th work or not? Tuesday the 12th works for me. I have actually well, that open too. Yeah? Do yeah. we want to do that? Send an email so Bill and Jonathan are included. Make sure if they can make it. And if not, we'll adjust. On the 12th, if we're not ready to make full-on decisions yet, maybe we can add in a second meeting. When do you yeah. mail out in December? Usually the week before Christmas or so. Okay, oh, so that right. gives so us we'll time a to do time. a second meeting if needed. Um, okay. So I'm we want to do that the Tuesday at the 12th four. at 4? Let me actually quickly check the calendar to see if there's anything here. Uh, I'm trying to remember who meets on those days here. Second Tuesday of the month. I don't know, actually. Let me check. November, the historical committee, I believe their meeting is at Will Town Hall. Police station, I think they do, right? Oh, maybe it is police station. I, I don't believe it's here. Um, and if it is, we can. Why isn't it opening it? That's weird. I can't click on it. All right, let's see. Uh, November. 
See that? Twelve. Like I have it right there. I'm trying to click on the meeting and it's not giving me. Oh, it's at the bottom. Yeah, just what a the, dingus. Yeah, just to start it's at Old Town Hall. Old Town Hall. Yep. Okay. So yeah, we should be good for here. Okay. Right. Um, so, so I make a motion. We hold our next meeting on Tuesday, November 12th at 4 p.m. at the Council on Aging building. Is there a second? I second that. All right, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any public input? Hearing none, I would like to take a motion to adjourn. You want to do it? No, go for it. I always write it. <sighs> I make a motion we adjourn at 423. Motion made, is there a second? I second that. Motion made and seconded, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Beautiful. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. Nice. Show you want to stop.